Here. Welcome back to another episode of Roblox Meep City. So it has been quite a while since I last decorated my school build. Um, we actually worked on the detention hall and the principal's office as well as um, the teacher's office area but we really need to complete this school because i know it's been a while but a while ago meep city updated with new school in the game so since there's a new school i think it is time that we kind of wrap up this build and also i think we should go visit the school just to take some inspirations i want to show you some of the empty rooms i have because i do not have a lot of empty rooms and the last time when i um asked you guys if i should turn this into an auditorium or library or gym so many of you guys gave me so many good ideas but little did i realize there is actually one extra room that i did not decorate so what i'm going to do is i'm going to decorate this room to be an auditorium but if you come right here i know it's connected to our classroom here but this way i never got to decorate this little room so this little room i'm going to turn it into a mini library i know it's a little too small to be a library honestly if it was completely up to me to you know set the layouts of these houses and buildings it would be amazing but unfortunately i do not have that kind of power so i kind of have to you know work with whatever is given to me so this is gonna be a library and the next one is going to be auditorium and um the gym i think we're just gonna call it as you know we're not gonna have gym in the building at least for now wait a second Wait a second, we do have another room right here. Oh my gosh, what? I completely forgot about this room. Well, you know what? This could turn into a gym right here. And then this could be like a supply room. I don't know. I think that would probably be the best idea. Oh, and then there's this... What? I forgot about all these rooms. I was quite sure we only had one room room left i guess i was completely wrong so this one we're gonna turn it into an auditorium and today we're gonna work on the library as well before we get started if you enjoy my videos please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to become one of the any pews and hit that notification bell to become hashtag notification squad so let's quickly go to the school to get some inspirations i know we could definitely check out the furnitures from um the catalog from our um edit mode but i do physically like visiting the fox friend and the penguin friend we have in the town like some of these coins all right oh and you know what i totally forgot the layout of the neighborhood is so different look oh, somebody got the dragon's castle or is that the dragon's castle oh my gosh the layout is so different look see the playground is right there so even if we do not have a gym it would it might just work out but this is so cool oh my gosh okay somebody has the rock estate and then i believe believe that's like a castle estate there are so many estates that i do not personally own but i would love to have see way over yonder you can also see the treehouse estate which i would love 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 to have but for now let's go to the playground which i usually call it as the town and go to the stores and also go to um the school is the school in this area yeah the school's way over there so let's go to the school first and get some inspirations and we're gonna move right on to building our stuff so let's go to school hello all right so this is like the nurse's office no this is actually the principal's office okay okay you guys got fancy i, I see you guys have oh like the countertops and stuff oh he, he even has a microphone i wonder if i would have the option wait that clock is bigger than what i have huh and the and the teacher's lounge oh my gosh but is there a secret way i think ryan did mention there is a secret way all right let's go to the back bathroom let's check out the bathroom too okay so we have stalls only if we can have these stall designs that would be super cool too oh and then like a whole different sink and mirror awesome awesome oh and then a big 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 trash can do you see that mm -hmm. and then the paper towel dispenser as well here we have history classroom there is just one student and she is sleeping girl <laughs> I think she fell asleep waiting for the teacher. So here is the history classroom. Oh, there's even like a map right there. Um, and here is the gymnasium. Oh my goodness. You know what? This is kind of like what I wanted to do for my auditorium. I wanted to put the stage there, but then I wanted to put like seats. Um, 
but they have like a gymnasium plus like a stage area over here. This is really cool. Except I don't know if I will have the access to the basketball hoops and stuff like that. Let's go come over here. So that's the other entrance. Um, this is the basement. I believe if you go down the basement, there is like a way. Yeah, you can go through over here the vents and you are led to a secret way come on run 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 and here is like a secret area where oh these two people already claimed the lockers here that's so cool and there are like computers on the floor a huge tv so it's just like the cool kids area i believe maybe wouldn't it be cool if we can do a build like this like just you know build a you know, thematic building in Meep City, but then also kind of create our own secret entryway to somewhere. That would be super cool. So this is like the supply room, basement. Here is the cafeteria. Oh, they have the fancy like cafeteria, um, food, pickup, table, whatever you want to call it. I don't know what it's called, but one of those. And they do have vending machines too. Do I have access to vending machines as well i don't know they might have added those furnitures you know so this is like the reading and writing english class um here is the library Ooh, fancy library i love that that is so cool my school stands it stands no chance against this school just because like they have so much stuff that we do not have access to and here is an art classroom cool cool and we got easels that we can use and i believe this is where like the models stand and pose and pose that's me i'm modeling <laughs> editor's closet okay that's pretty cool too all right and this is where the trophy case is so i think i got pretty good inspirations from looking at um the school in the playground but now we must look at the furnitures and let's actually go to home improvements too they might have new for um what is it wallpapers and flooring and whatnot so let's go hello foxy how are you it's been a while oh outdoors they do have some new outdoor stuff which includes flower bench log table flower oh that is so pretty that would be so perfect if you do like a wedding build wouldn't that be so cool and then butterfly chair colorful flower butterfly bed leaf chair fancy butterfly chair leaf couch jelly uh firefly jar uh butterfly lamp oh so these are all like fantasy kind of inspired that is really cute Let's go to decorations. Um, nope, nothing new. Even though, you know, you usually can tell if it's new or not because of this banner that says new. But sometimes, you know, you never know. You might come here a little too late and might not have seen some of the stuff. Oh, these old shelves would look so good in like, like the supply room. But I don't have one. See, I, we do not have access to a lot of the stuff that, you know, the school had. So we do have to work with whatever is given to us. Okay, so there's the speaking podium that I could use for the auditorium for sure. And then for the fashion, uh, were there chairs? I think there were like movie chairs I could use, right? Wait a second. Oh, you can now buy these with your coins? They used to be only available with the pack, but now you can actually get these separately? That is actually really cool. And I don't have that candy bed. I don't think I do. So that is, that is pretty awesome. Where are those auditorium chairs? I'm pretty sure I've seen them somewhere. I mean, we could also use the diner booth chairs, couch but I really wanted to use those movie chairs. Oh, here they are. So they are under living room and there are theater chairs, which I think would be super perfect for the auditorium. So let's actually get some of those chairs. Let's get like four of those for now. And I know I'll be needing some more, but for now, I think that's pretty good. Let's go to home improvements. All right. Hello, penguin. How are you? It's been a long, long time. Do you have anything new for me? So a Estate. So Rock Estate, that's been there for a while. Treehouse Estate has been there for quite a while too. The Wizard Tower Estate is the one that I really want. But like I said, I'm trying to get through things one at a time. No, flooring. Um, no, that's not really new. That was there before too. Wallpaper. No, they don't really have anything new. So let's go to our um, estate and start building. Okay, so this is where I want to build as an auditorium. Flooring, I kind of do want to make it dark. So I want to see if I can find yep, the flint carpet. And then for the wallpaper, I should have the the um, the sound. Yeah, the studio foam. Yeah, I think that looks good. I am not 100% sure if I do have the runway. But we shall see. Hey, didn't I get the chairs? Oh, here. Theater seats. Oh, you know what I know? 
I must have not... Did I not get them? Yeah, I probably did not hit purchase. I usually do that all the time. It's one mistake I keep on making despite of how much I've played Meep City. I think we should also have our bubble machine. This bubble machine. So two bubble machines out. Let's see. What else will I need? Oh, the fashion lights. Let's get that out too. I'm gonna also get the microphone stand out just in case, even though I think the podium does have a microphone. Cornered walkway. Oh, let's get the um, ceiling fashion lights as well. The walkway should be right over here. Okay, so I think we are going to wa work with what we have so far, and then we're gonna start adding more um, stuff, purchasing more stuff to add to what we need. We definitely need more of these. So let's go to shop. And go to fashion show. Let's buy um, two more of... No, two. Let's buy four more of the walkway. Do not hit cancel like you did last time. Um, I do have one corner one. So I do need one more. Oh, I should probably change the color to brown. I think that would probably look better. So let's get one of those as well. And I think we should also get a speaking podium while we are at that. So get that as well. Purchase. We'll change the color of them all together. Are these not going all the way to the back? It's not a perfect fit. So we kind of have to carefully place it in the middle. I think that looks about centered. Bring the other corner piece out. All right. Okay. So our like uh, stage area is prepared. Let's change the color of them. Let's change them to brown. Oh, and then it shows the alignment a little. Okay. The alignment is off. I must fix it. I must fix it. Otherwise, it's gonna bug me. Here we go. Okay, let's put the podium on top. Oh, okay. So the podium does not have a microphone attached to it. So it is a good thing that we do have a microphone. Let's turn it on. Hmm, should I? Yeah, I think I should keep it light color like that in the center. And let's now bring over the lights and as well as the microphone. So the microphone can go right here, right next to the podium. Okay, right there. Looks good. Okay, I think that looks about even. And let's now move our um, ceiling light pretty much right above the podium, like so. And the bubble machine can go on top of the podium. They don't have to use the bubble machine now, but in case they do have some sort of like drama night or something like that, they could definitely use it as a special effect. So let's put it in the corner and we're going to make it black so they kind of... Um, um, stay hidden. Okay, that looks good. Let's turn these off because how they are on is kind of bugging me a little bit. Turn them off, but we're going to turn these on and then this one on as well. So we have lights going on. Yeah, <gasps> that looks so good. Okay, now we need to put the seats. I also think we should put like a little um, middle row empty so that people can like move down and then grab their seats. Let's see if we have carpet or rugs. No, how about rugs? Hmm... I think we need to buy them. Let's go to shop. I do not have enough money, honestly. So I might have to purchase more meat coins. Ouch. I do this every time I purchase more meat coins. Every time I play Meep City. All right, let's buy five of these for now. And I want to also look at some carpets. I think I want to buy some of these too. I want to put them um, along the side of the walls. I think that would look pretty nice. So let's buy like four of them. Oh, there they are. I was like, where are the rugs? I think this color probably would look better. So let's buy like four of them for now. Oh, I hit cancel. See, I keep on doing that. Okay, four of them for now. <laughs> Look at me. I'm spewing out coins. Meme coins while I'm sleeping. Oh my goodness. That's ridiculous. Okay, let's take out these rugs and put them along the center. I wish they were more red, but obviously I can't... Beggars can't beat choosers. That looks good. Let's get our seats out. I think we definitely need more of those um, lights. Just to kind of put one more here. And then we need at least one, two more rows. So four more of those theater seats. Whew, this is becoming an expensive project. More of these. And then four more of these. Since it's really dark, let's actually turn these lights on. And then we don't want to block this entryway. So let's actually put the last seats all the way in the back. Ah, I suppose we could also put one more row if we really wanted to. But do we really want to? Looks like we might not even need um, this other light on this side because where it would go is where the doorway is. So no, we're not going to do that. However, I feel like the doorway is a little too plain. So we're going to fix that by using our beams. So let's actually put our beams right along the side to kind of make it look a little more framed and fancy. Here we go. It would be really 
really cool if there were some like posters, movie posters that we could hang up and whatnot, but we don't really have that. So this is a pretty simple build in terms that um, not a lot of different kind of furnitures were involved, but I'm pretty happy with our auditorium. So now let's move on to our library. Ooh, also the hallway. The hallway needs to be fixed. Nope, nope. Mm -hmm bad about that. Oh, the yellow detention wall doesn't look too bad, but if that's the case, I want to change the flooring to a bit of darker color like that, but that... How about that? Nope. I think this probably is the best look, even though it's a flooring that I used in a lot of our other rooms. And also, I need to remember that I need to light up this hallway as well. I keep on forgetting to do that. Ooh, before I forget, I need to put in the sign right above the door. Let's type in auditorium. Yay, so now we have our auditorium and this should be actually these should be labeled too let's get those done as well here's one students dorm and this one is the science classroom all right and then we have two more rooms empty here so we can definitely claim one of the rooms as the library and then the other one as gym i think this one the l-shaped one probably would be better as the library because not only is it a funky shape so it would be better to just Put bookshelves all around, but it's L-shaped, like the L in library. <laughs> all right, so let's get to work. So I'm just now just getting everything and anything that I think I would need for the library out before I start purchasing anything additional. I feel like the librarian should be sitting right there maybe. And then all of the books and the student desks could be in this long area right here. So let's line up our walls with some of the bookshelves. We're gonna need a lot more bookshelves than the ones we have. So it looks about three across. And then as for the computers, let's put them along the wall right here on this side. I'm not too much of a fan of this flooring either. So let's change it around too. Maybe white. This white, um, these white tiles look not too bad. So three. I need six more at least. And then we need a teacher's desk for the librarian. We also need a PC monitor for the librarian. Get a desk chair for her and some more simple plastic chairs. We are going to actually put them back to back so that we have like double the storage kind of library storage. There we go. I think we should put more books on this side. I don't necessarily think that we should make another divider, but I think we do definitely need more books and we definitely need a carpet to put down. Okay, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. All right, I think it looks about done. All I have to do is now go around and turn all these lights. Turn it on, this one on, and that one on. So I think our library looks pretty complete. So we have tons and tons and tons of books, and we have some reading area for students here. And if they want to do some extra research on the computer, we have dual monitor computers prepared for the students right over here. And this is where the librarian is going to sit, and she's going to sort through some of the books that were borrowed or, you know, returned and whatnot. The final thing we have to do is to put up the sign. Let's come over here. We do not have any more of those signs left. So we do have to go, I believe, was it entertainment? Yep. Let's buy one of these signs for 50 Robux. Oh, what do you know? We already had two of them. I thought I used them all. I guess I was wrong. Oh, well. <laughs> for the next time I need it, I know I have some extra here. And let's put up the sign library. Yay! We're done with our library and our auditorium. So I think the final thing that we need to do in the next episode is to build our physical education room, our um, gym. So this is going to turn into our gym and maybe this will be our supply room for like the gym um, equipment. And then we do have one empty room over here. So we might even have to turn this into a supply room for the science class. After we're done with those rooms, we're going to be completely done with all the rooms in this building. And all I will have left to do is to kind of build the decor, um, build the decorate, um, decorate the hallway, which I have no idea what I'm going to do, except just put a whole bunch of lockers along the walls. If you guys have any ideas that you think I should add to our auditorium and library, Library, please let me know in the comment section below. Any poo, that's pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, bye guys!